Rachel has a big Meryl Streep surprise. That is right, Ricardo. You know, we have all heard Meryl sing, but there is much more to her musical talent. Stranger things have happened in 2020, but Meryl Streep, the rapper? What? Gotta wear your crown or your tiara. Oh, I rap all the time. I mean, oh, of course you do, right? I freestyle, you know, I was, yeah, at home. Meryl rapping. Plus, A-listers Carrie Washington, Nicole Kidman, and James Corden all in one film. Yep, it's called The Prom. The storyline is about a girl in a conservative small town fighting for the right to go to prom with her girlfriend. And some washed up Broadway stars arrive to help. We have got to go down there. Yes. And raise holy hell. Yes, we will be the biggest thing to happen in Indiana since whatever's happened in Indiana. Bad reviews, that's something that your characters are heavily impacted by. What is a role of the past that you feel like a review has really stuck with you. A very famous critic wrote a very bad review of a film I did called Sophie's Choice. And she said that I should giggle more and cry less. And I've taken that criticism to heart and I sort of agree with her. James, and you? Oh, I got too many to, to even think <laughs> about, really. <laughs> That's what I say to you. <laughs> I'm from Britain, so a lot of the time in Great Britain, you're either king of the world, or oh, you're dead and over. And uh, the trick is to realize that neither of those things are true. In the musical rom-com streaming December 11th on Netflix, Keegan-Michael Key gets to lock lips with three-time Oscar winner, Meryl. Dude, where does that rank on like your past kisses on screen? It's hands down. I, is. I don't know how, is it zero? How do you go above one? Is it a plus one? Whatever the new math is, and you go above one, it's that. It's time to build a Meryl's character in the film, she plops a couple of trophies down on the counter at the hotel to hopefully get an upgrade in her room. Ah, surely you know who I am. Have you ever called the celebrity card, Karen? No, I'm usually having to like tell my family members not to pull the celebrity card because <laughs> I don't want to get that call to be like, your dad was in here the other day. <laughs> I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm sorry, who are you people? Well, Carrie's dad isn't the only one to benefit from her star status. So do her kids. I'm getting a lot of joy from that artwork behind you, Miss Carrie. They get so excited when we have entertainment tonight on, and they're like, I did that! That's my art! I'm like, there you are, girl. You're up there.